everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about cacao trees, we're going to talk about seedling trees, and we're going to talk about grafted trees. Then I'm going to give you some tips on the proper time to do the grafting of the cacao plants. This is a seedling cacao right here. This is about a year old, a little over a year actually. It's growing in a three by nine container. Uh, seed was planted in here, and this is what you've got. You've got a beautiful little seedling, very quick growing, and three to four years this plant will produce flowers and cacao pods. You want to speed that process up, what you do is you graft the trees. Grafting the trees basically is taking a seedling, like the one you just saw, and doing various types of grafts with different techniques. This is a simple one called a cleft graft. So you can see right there it's got the, the cleft and you can see all the new growth. Everything from here up is the new plant that's mature that will produce very nice pods. If you see my video on my cacao trees that are in the ground, this one, number three, produces awesome pods. So this will speed up the process as long as this tree grows uh, into a nice size, this tree will begin to produce flowers and probably this one will take about another year, maybe a year and a half. So you've basically cut the time down from three to four years to maybe two years and maybe even less than that, depending on how quickly you can get this guy to grow. Now, I'm in Florida, so obviously, you know, we do have cooler weather, believe it or not, that is not, you know, what these guys like. These guys are tropical plants. They do not like it when it gets below 50 degrees, and especially 40 degrees, they begin to be uncomfortable, and you start to see the leaves dry out. And if they get into the 30s, well, you know, you can lose your trees. Um, so you do have to be careful growing these outside of the tropics. Now, this guy was taken and put into the pot from a graft, just like this one over here. This one was done in, in May, and this one was done, this guy was done in March. I'll have it marked right here in March. And this is also number three. So this has now been in the pot. Today is uh, sep September uh, 19, 2021. So, you know, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at, literally, it was started on 317. I put it in there in May. So we're looking at four months approximately that it's been in this pot. And look at what we've got. We've got beautiful cacao grafted with all these leaves, all the beautiful growth over here, and the tree's doing phenomenal, and very well rooted, as you can see. And that's just in the pot for a couple of months. So but you can see that, yes, in a couple of years, two years from now, this tree will be producing cacao flowers and quality pods with lots of nice large cacao beans inside, and you know what? That's the name of the game, right? You want pods, you want cacao, you need a tree that is of good quality and that can produce lots of pods. All right, so you want to pick your scion when the tree is in a vegetative stage. In other words, it's not flowering. That's very, very important. With that said, you can have a cacao tree that has plenty of pods already beginning to mature, very little flower, and you have that new growth that's coming, which is beginning to get to that vegetative stage, yes, you can take scions at that point, all right? So you can take a nice piece of wood from the tree and you can look very carefully and you can see in between the nodes, you'll have that just tiny little bit of node just coming out with that new growth and that's the ideal time to take the scion. If you take all right, so keeping in mind that we now know that the best time is to take the scion when the tree is in a vegetative stage, I uh, want to show you what I did just to kind of, I don't know, kind of back up what I'm saying. I took some scions when the tree, the cacao tree, was loaded with flowers. And here's what happened. We did three trees. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's a little bit of green left here, but if I look carefully, there's like no growth. And this is August 7th. Today's September 19th. By now, we should have had nice growth. Flowering stage, lots of failures. Three plants, only one. So it's not impossible, but it's weak. You can see it's kind of weak. If you would have seen these guys after 30 days, they were just doing fantastic with the with the vigor that they had. They have more vigor. So if you really want to be successful with your scions,
take them at vegetative stage because if you're in the flowering stage, three plants, only one, and this guy, I don't know, he might or he might not make it. It looks like he's gonna make it, but again, you don't wanna waste energy, you don't wanna waste time, why would you do it? Just wait till the right time of the, of the phase and take your scions when your tree is in the vegetative growth. Earlier, you like can I have said, pods all over the tree that are nice and mature or very close to being mature and it'll work fine. But you don't wanna take your scions because if you take them when the tree is flowering, then success ratio goes way down. So keep that in mind because you really wanna be successful when you're grafting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, uh, some of the pots that I use in order to uh, transplant these guys. And we're gonna transplant one of these guys here, one of the grafted ones, into a pot, which would be this guy, this pot right here. This is a four inch by nine inch pot. And then I'll put All right, a couple of things you're gonna need in order to pot these up, okay? You're gonna need to have a larger pot. In this case, we're using the four by nine, and uh, it's a nice deep pot, nine inches deep, four inches wide on the top. You're gonna to need some good potting soil, pre-moistened. This has already been moistened, and this is the, the pro mix potting soil, okay? The only thing different about this soil is I added extra peat. So I added about 30% peat to it. Peat helps with the acidity, okay? Uh, cacao likes to be a little bit on the acid side, so I put the peat in there and it works great. So we've got peat into the soil mix and it's pre-moistened. Now, we're gonna need some nutrition. So what I like to use is I like to use the 1868, which gives you plenty of nitrogen, so we get fast growth. 6-8 is everything else you need, basically phosphorus and potassium. Okay. We definitely don't want to pull the plant out. We don't want to push it, we don't want to pull it, we don't want to damage it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the pot. So we go down to the bottom of the pot here, we'll come up the side. Be careful you don't cut yourself. There we go, up the side here. This way we do not damage or tug on the roots. And then we'll actually be able to take a look at these roots. Also, see how we're doing. I want to show you something. See these pots? They have these ridges. Those are great because it actually helps, helps to guide the roots downwards. And look at all the roots we have down here. Really, really nice roots. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our grafted number three cacao. I only put a little bit in the bottom. So I still have about a half inch, have about a half inch on the top of the edge of the pot, which is good to leave a little space so when you put fertilizer in, it doesn't splash and go all over the place and you waste it. So now we've done that. Now what I like to do is, I like to do this. I like to hold it, and I like to bang it down on the table. This way the roots, they spread out all by themselves. They're just doing this now. All right, I can see that it's doing good there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I take a little handful, just take a little handful, less than a handful, okay? Drop it in here. Bang them up again. Squeeze out your soil. Bang it away, bang it away here. Then two fingers down the sides here, hit it again, and we got, I think you can hear them doggies in the background, they decided to come out and play and make a whole bunch of noise and ruin my, <laughs> ruin my video. Oh well, it is what it is. So here we go, we're getting there, a little more soil, a little that water coming out of it because it was real wet, it rained a little while ago. It was pre-moistened but then it rained and we got, we got even more water in it. But look at how beautiful that is right there. It's going to get plenty of room now for the roots to develop. And I just like to squeeze it a little bit like this. Push down again on the sides with the fingers. And then just so I remember that I fertilized it, I always like to put a little bit on the top like this. So sometimes you'll forget. But the best way is to actually go ahead and write down on the side of the container right here, which I have the marker, and put the date that you planted this in the pot, what it is, 
and then what fertilizer you use. That would be the ideal way to do it. Um, it's getting late, it's getting dark. I don't have a, uh, a marker with me, but I will definitely do this a little bit. Uh, well, it won't be later, I'll do this tomorrow. So there you go, that's my number three cacao planted. A year and a half from now, I'll have a beautiful tree that's growing and producing flowers and pods. Everybody, thank you. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, I will have some of these for sale soon, so keep an eye on my page, peppersplants.com. Thank you, everybody.